Okay guys, I'm just gonna go over the real ACC X210 frame here. I just basically get, I basically just got it, um, just kind of hand tight together here, but just to kind of show you guys how the build is gonna go together. Now my kit was missing this upper plate that normally goes here, and from what I understand, this plate was actually milled a little bit too small, so most people don't have it anyway, but it's just a little plate that covers here doesn't really serve much of a function. Four millimeter arms, again, I got all this from Banggood. I really should have bought the all-in-one kit. It probably would have saved me some money. Um, I think it's only about $112. I think I spent, spent more for each individual piece here. So great looking frame. I think they did a really good job on it. Now, I just put these in here without any uh, spacers underneath this PDB. Guys, I know that. So <laughs> the ESC that I chose for this build is the Racer Star 30 amp BL Heli S 2 to 4S LiPo. I've had these on another build and they really are fantastic. They're small. I like the fact that they have these pads here that you can just solder the motor wires onto them. I'm always desoldering these here. And what's nice is you don't have to cut away any of the uh, heat shrink here. So that's really, really nice. So um, these, this is the first time I'm going to be using these Racer Star motors. If you guys follow my friend's channel, Albert Kim, he does a lot of testing on these. And this is going to be my first experience with them. I got this in red, and after I bought these in red, um, they actually come at, came out in purple and blue and hot pink. I really wish I would have gotten the hot pink ones. Those are that's one of my favorite colors. So. Um, all right, so it comes with some shorter and longer uh, screws here. So in case you're running a three millimeter frame or a four millimeter frame, but the uh, quality looks pretty nice here. Let me just get this zoomed in here. All right, so the quality looks pretty nice there. We've got a nice uh, uh, countersunk in bearing system there. Um, the windings look a little rough in there, but um, you know it all depends on what the motor performance is like. So. Um, Looks like they have some decently siliconized wires here. It doesn't feel like full silicon. Maybe it's a hybrid plastic and silicon, but those bad boys are going to go right there. Um, and of course, I'm going to be using my Free Sky Tyrannus uh, to start with. I only have one other model um, programmed to this, but uh, so far it's been a really great radio, as most of you guys know and most of you guys run. I'm going to be using this X4R receiver and uh, I'll try and find some room in it. Basically if I have this stacked like that I'll have plenty of room for this and my VTX in here. And the frame is really nice. It has this little uh, tail end here that you can run a VTX uh, off the back here. This will give the antenna a little bit of support. I like it when the frames have this little window back here because you can put the but push buttons and the lights or the uh, little LED out there so you can see what channel you're on and you can easily access it. So that's really nice. So, so your camera can go in the back here. Let me just show you that. So I don't have a GoPro, but this little angled piece right here is made to put your GoPro on here, and there's a slot here for your straps. Now you're going to want to take um, your battery straps on the bottom and on the top here and make sure that you round out these edges because it's just a 90 degree corner and it will definitely um, shred your battery straps. And just looking at this, I forgot that uh, I will be running a battery strap under here, so I'll be running a short standoff underneath my PDB so I can get that through. All right guys, so um, I'll have links to everything in the description below. Um, I'll be doing a full build video on this, I think. Um, if not, just an overview as I'm building it. But it's gonna be a typical build just like my last one, so. All right, uh, thanks for joining my channel guys. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys later, bye.